Went there to get my nails done. I should have stayed at home. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well. I know this looks quite familiar to some of you in terms of the setup and unfamiliar to others. This is the podcast setup. We finished recording an episode and I thought, why not give you guys excellent sound quality whilst I walk you through this shambles of a holiday prep vlog? Because this vlog is a whole mess. And so I'm gonna have to walk you through it in order for you to get what's actually going on. So a few days after my graduation, thank you all so much for your congratulations and the love on that vlog but a few days after that TMS was actually nominated for its first award we were nominated for best podcast at the Inside Out Awards which is basically an organization run by a woman who I love dearly and really admire and the organization basically works on mental health and not only promoting you know well-being and people taking care of their mental health but also spreading awareness around different kinds of mental health struggles that we go through um, as a community and it was such a lovely evening it was on a boat it was real fancy real fancy but yeah me and Renee or Renee and I headed to that award show organizations like these and inside out that are not only supporting our, our community and our wellness but they're contributing hugely to the collective healing of our community that is our ancestors work so this work that you are doing whether you win or you don't you know please continue the work that you do and know that we support and celebrate everything running and you're running but are you, you can't no okay this is the piece i'm running 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 Trying to reach this finish line, trying to be a winner quick, trying to finish, I'm running, running, always in a haste, no time. Unfortunately, we didn't win an award that evening, but it's actually super cool to have at least been nominated. The podcast, the To My Sisters podcast has come so far. It's so surreal reflecting on just how much we've been able to do over the last 24 months of it being a thing just how many people are actually tuning in and also how many people around the world we've gotten to help by just having real candid conversations about our own stories and journeys and yeah I couldn't have been more grateful and proud of us that day I will confess as a perfectionist and as somebody who holds themselves you know to a high standard and who just likes to win it was a bummer that we didn't you know get an award that day but there were so many other people in that room who are doing amazing things to not only promote well-being and you know community powered um mental health solutions they were just cool people really dope people and so yeah it was lovely to be invited to that to even be in that room and to be acknowledged in such a way and shout out to every single person who actually listens to the podcast or watches it here on youtube it sometimes is a struggle because it just takes so much work to do but it is an honor and it's it's something we're gonna keep doing like it's of course we're gonna keep doing it that was one of the days that just reminded me that like i'm doing something that i really 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 love then two days later your girl decided that the birthday celebrations weren't over oh no 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 no! they were not over i really made a big deal out of my 25th birthday this year for somebody who was like no i don't like celebrating my birthday this year i went all out dinner holidays and a games night which is what i'm about to show you well kind of because i didn't really get footage of it because i was the host one thing about me 
I'm going to be a good games master. Firstly, I'm excellent at playing games and I love playing games. I'm a competitive person, as I've just described. But also, I don't just rely on talking smack. I show up with my A game. Like, if you ever get the chance to play a game with me, especially something like Articulate or based on like, I don't know, communication and memory and stuff like that, you want to be on my team. Like, anyone who's in a room with me wants to be on my team when it comes down to games nights. But today, I decided to give everybody a chance by not participating in the games, but instead being the games master master and I am actually a very good games master if I do say so myself so anyway this was the first games night that we hosted here in our apartment since we moved last year November so it's been it was a long time um but it was so fun to have my friends over to play games I'm not gonna lie some injuries were almost sustained nice is cut <laughs> we played the cup game you know that game on tiktok where it's like they put a, a cup in between two people and you have to grab it we played that game in tanzania as well and it got brutal yeah i just loved being around my friends and i would say that this year i have felt so loved and i was able to bring around like so many of my different friendship groups and that was really nice to see because i think that can often be something that some people are intimidated by like, but everyone was good vibes like i'm actually surrounded by such great people everyone gelled in so well and the competitive spirit really came out but yeah yeah, we celebrated, we laughed, we played Mafia, we played Articulate, um, we played some Blackjack. It was, it was good. It was really, really good. I wish I took more footage of that. And that's just one of the things that I've loved about vlogging in general, even though I failed at doing it on this day. I have loved the fact that I have documentation of the amazing things that have happened to me um, over the last year. So yeah, I had a games night and I'm, I'm thinking about hosting a couple more very soon and I will be vlogging that. But what are some of your favorite games to play at games night and please suggest like any if you come across tiktoks or videos um that you have played at games nights that were really fun interesting brought out you know the edge in some people suggest them down below but my favorite games night game has to be articulate because i'm dope at it then ish started getting real so on this day two major things happened renee and i had our first meeting at the pan mcmillan head office here in london or the pan mcmillan office here in london and it just we walked in and there were all these books on the wall and we met our copy editor who we've met several times before obviously but we just met to talk about like book progress and stuff because at this stage of the year our first draft deadline was coming quite quickly and we were in the process of writing it was amazing going there and getting to to have that meeting so this is the same day that my laptop decided it wasn't going to work anymore yeah so not the laptop that I showed you in last week's vlog where I was talking about how is vlogmas starting and my laptop is broken no that was actually the laptop I ended up buying as the solution but my old laptop my old macbook pro which I had for like seven years decided that she's out of here she's retiring she's over it she's done and I don't blame her you know I've put her through the ringer especially with video editing and stuff it wasn't reading any of my hard drives any of my SD cards and obviously these are things that I use to be able to work a huge part of my me using my laptop is me using these external devices so after having a conversation with my friend Mike man like Mike who's here on YouTube um well I miss him here on YouTube actually but yeah we were on the phone I was panicking he was like course, it's okay this is what you can do we looked at some laptop options um I decided I would take my laptop to the Apple store so I just got done with my meeting at Pan Macmillan and it was well I almost dropped whoa it's an embarrassment yeah <laughs> I just got done with my meeting at Pan Macmillan it was really really good actually definitely helped to calm some of the anxieties and worries I have and answer the questions I have around our book writing process right now but we're actually nearing the end so that's good but I actually need to go to Regent Street I left Renee at the cafe that we went to to have lunch because she has a work meeting um so I'm just gonna meet her at home and she said she has like a surprise for me that will bring me joy Okay, so I just got done at the Apple store 
and verdict is my hard drive is broken um, which is annoying because all the projects that I'm working on at the moment are on my hard drive and then the other issue is they also don't have any MacBooks in stock so I couldn't get a new laptop anyway so now I don't know what to do <laughs> I don't know so that's what happened and that's how I ended up with this MacBook Pro which is currently also broken is it me am i am i the drama like am i the drama because why do my laptops keep breaking and these things are expensive obviously that laptop lasts to be seven years this laptop she's six months old she can't be throwing fits like this yeah so that happened and it was quite frustrating and that day i can't lie it threw off my whole mood like i couldn't even really enjoy the meeting at pan mcmillan because i was so my minds were just consumed <laughs> with thoughts of my laptop, my laptop being broken. And basically what we discussed at the Pan Macmillan office was our marketing strategy for our book. And we have a whole team of women actually who are working on getting our book out there, getting it to you guys, making sure it's excellent. And it was nice to just have a conversation with these women who really wanted to hear our vision for the future and being able to direct them according to, you know, this is what we want, but also this is what our audience we think they need and this is how we want to serve them and that's our priority and they understood that and they got that and choosing a publisher to go to because some tea pan macmillan was not the first publisher to approach us to write this book or to even give us an offer on writing this book but they were the ones who got it they were the ones who really got it not just about the book and what we were trying to write but what we are trying to build as a sisterhood community and as a movement they got it they were the ones who even coined the whole sisterhood revolution thing so shout out to our, our team over at pan macmillan we really appreciate you i really appreciate you like i never thought i'd be publishing a book this at this stage of my life and to have a supportive team behind us to make it happen who can who are walking us through this journey has made it so much easier so yeah I was very grateful that day it was sad that the day was overshadowed by the nonsense of that MacBook this is when our prep for our next trip really started so obviously with holiday prep like I'm doing my hair my nails uh you know packing all of that why do I leave all of these things so last minute hmm hmm Courtney Courtney look at me in the eye Edison Courtney yeah change change transform yourself come up higher develop glow and grow as you say stop leaving things to such last minutes okay I didn't know what hair I was going to wear on my next trip uh, I had been sent a wig I did a video on it because I did a chit chat get ready with me I prepped the wig went to wear the wig the wig's too small the wig is too small so after I take out my braids I'm like, okay, I need to pull out one of my old wigs, but you know when you need to like wash it, you need to revamp it. So I washed it, I revamped it. It looks cute. It looks really cute, actually. I ended up going on my holiday looking real cute, but that was after some some people tried to sabotage me. My enemies in the village, they were working that day. You guys know I wear press-ons, right? Press-ons for life. I decided I was gonna go and get acrylics after talking to my good friend, Jackie. She peer pressured me and convinced me that, girl, you want the clickety clack clack of the acrylics and I said yes yes I actually do I want to be a bad bee so I went to get my nails done at um, a nail shop which is not far from our house and I had heard good reviews Renee had used them too and she had an upcoming appointment appointment with them in the next few days so I was like okay I'm gonna go went there to get my nails done I should have stayed at home I should have stayed at home and glued my little fingernails onto my nail. I should have stopped. I shouldn't have tried. I hated the way these nails turned out. I also hated the like service I got at the nail shop. I'm not going to name it because I've been there since and they have improved, but like they weren't very helpful. And for somebody like this was my first appointment there. I did my toes and my fingers. And it was like, you know, when you pick up, you know, when they give you the wheel of like the colors and they're like, I'll pick a color. And they bring the color that you've chosen and it's not the color that's on the sample. That really gets on my last nerve because I feel bamboozled. And then they were getting frustrated with me because I am very particular. Anyone who knows me knows when it comes to my hair, my nails, the way I look, I am quite particular, which is why I do a lot of my maintenance myself. But that day made me realize I should have stopped with my press-ons. This is why I like press-ons because it's low investment. You know, I pay my five pounds and I know what I'm going to get. But when you go to the nail shop, it's so expensive first of all the prices had just increased and I was like 
why have I got to break the bank to get some acrylics, please? But anyway, I'm not telling anybody how to charge or, you know, how to value themselves, but I was quite disappointed. And so, yeah, beauty on a budget is definitely something that like, I want to talk about more because I like how things turn out when I do my maintenance routine. And I know it's not for everyone because, you know, not everyone wants to sit down and do their own acrylics or wear press-ons or there's a specific look they want to go for. Or in general, the beauty maintenance routine can just be like the way you pamper yourself. But for me, sometimes these things aren't worth it. I'm just going to put that out there. So after going to the shambles of a nail appointment, I decided to go shopping for some clothes. The ghetto. So I live near a shopping center, went to the shops now. And you know what? Why is it so hard to find plus size clothes in store, please? I went to Marks and Spencer's and I wasn't really able to find that many nice things. And I was hoping to find some clothes for the trip that was upcoming, but I didn't really find anything. And even that green top that like I tried on, it was cute. I ended up buying it in cream. I didn't end up wearing it when I went away, because it was more like a winter item. It was cute. It was cute. But it really reminded me that like shopping on the high street as a plus size woman is tough. Like why can't you have a small corner in your shop dedicated to the plus size range? Or why can't your size range just be extensive? Or even more so, why are the plus size clothes ugly? I just want answers. So the next day I decided that I was going to install that wig. Obviously I filmed the chit chat, get ready with me around it. And the wig was too small, but it looked cute though. I laid that wig real nice. I can't even lie. That was the first time I had like experienced really laying a five by five. Cause you know me, I like me a glueless. I like me a glueless situation. Not, not me being a lady. Like I just pull in my wig up, but yeah, like I like me a glueless situation. So I actually took time. I used the Ebon um, spray, which is really really good I used it to lay down my wig and the wig looked good it looked fire I didn't really have time after filming that video the chit chat where I was installing the wig to take it off so I decided to just go straight to my lash appointment like I said the whole vibe for this trip was bad B I found a local lash tech she did an excellent job I loved my lashes absolutely loved them um absolutely loved them they were fantastic and unfortunately she no longer lives near me and she lives like outside of London like far far away and it's upsetting because I've been wanting to get my lashes done since um and it just hasn't been the same it hasn't been the same it did take some time to grow on me though I feel like when you're not like a very glam girl like I don't see myself as a very glam girl do you know what I mean I feel like when you do do something like your nails your hair your makeup even I I experienced this mostly when like someone else does my makeup especially when Deji did my makeup for the first time I was like I don't know if I like this because I look so different but then I looked at myself and I was like you look good you look real good but I think it's just an adjustment like when I did my lashes I was kind of like don't know if I like it it feels too full it feels you know like it's not nice and then I got on FaceTime with Mandy and she was like your lashes are nice and you know there are some people in your life whose opinions matter like for me when it comes to makeup fashion uh like just the way I look it's Mandy Jackie like that when my when those friends in particular are like girl you look good I'm like huh I do (laughs) okay anyway get yourself some friends that actually gas you and reassure you um but if she said it was ugly best believe I would have picked them lashes out one by one (laughs) so yeah she really reaffirmed me then I took these cute selfies and I was like they do look good huh so yeah then I came home and I decided because I was so pissed off at my nails (laughs) And I didn't know if I liked my lashes. And plus I hadn't packed. And this was like 24 hours, less than 24 hours before my flight. I was like, bun this vlog. I can't do it. So that's why this vlog is so choppy. And I had to come and explain what actually happened. But tomorrow, I promise we're getting on this flight. Travel vlogs take so long to actually edit. Um, And that's because I really am putting as much effort as I can into the edits. So I'm glad you guys are liking it. I hope that you enjoy it when it comes out. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss more of the glowing and growing diaries. Catch up on the ones that I have posted so far. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. And as always, stay beautiful and stay blessed. Mwah.